Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, I thought I'd get a bit festive and put together this adorable Christmas puzzle by Ravensburger. This is just a 500 piece and it's called Enchanted Christmas by the artist Demelsa Horton. And I just thought it was just a really adorable little indoor Christmas scene, um, very like cute and magical. Got a lovely fireplace burning and a beautiful, beautifully decorated Christmas tree. And there's a whole lot of Christmas gifts here, but it seems like maybe a bit of Christmas magic has happened and a lot of little cute animals and Christmas um, little cr critters have sort of come to life and are playing around and getting up to all sorts of fun mischief. So we've got like what looks like the uh, angel from on top of the Christmas tree that's riding on a toy train with a mouse and there's a gingerbread man uh, you know reading a book and uh, a polar bear reading stories to, to some cats and a snowman all sorts of like very cute and fun um, details um, yeah so I think this puzzle should be fairly quick being 500 pieces although it does have a lot of details um, but either way I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot of fun and just really like cute to do so yeah in a sec I'm gonna start sorting and then get puzzling so I've got my puzzle board out and I've emptied my pieces into the box um, so looking at the puzzle there's quite a lot of detail so I think um, pulling out all the edge or border pieces first could be quite a good idea just because like they should be pretty like distinct um, and easy to figure out where they go and then there's actually like in this puzzle it's actually even though it's small it's still a little bit tricky in that there's not many I guess large surfaces of like one distinct pattern or color um, maybe the only sort of exception is this Christmas tree so I figured that could be maybe a, a next sort of step to do after the border so I might even while I'm pulling out border pieces look for some of these I mean I suppose there's some red up here and maybe the floor but there's not a lot of solid colors so um, yeah I might be to do this puzzle I might be sort of just looking for little distinct details and sort of roughly placing them until I find more of the details that go around those those ones so yeah so let's pull out some of the uh, border pieces at least um, this box is nice and like wide and flat so you know you can like sort of really spread the pieces out and sort of see what you're looking for pretty easily um, unfortunately there is a lot of puzzle dust in this one so hopefully it doesn't get me sneezing too much um, so let's see can I find any Christmas tree I guess oh yep that looks like a Christmas tree so that's good at least I can spot it reasonably easy some of the Christmas tree is going to be border as well so I'll put those with the border um, yeah. So yeah, the pieces are definitely in like fairly distinct. So I think this shouldn't be like too difficult to put together. Um, I don't know if we've got enough to put any together at the moment. Maybe. Nope, not quite yet. No. Oh, no. Close. Uh, no. No. I'm getting too excited. So yeah, I'm going to continue, I guess, pulling these out and also more of these Christmas tree Pieces. I can see a few more in here so that's good seems like that should be a nice little area um, to get done um, yeah so yeah I'm gonna like pop those together and then um, I guess see what's next after that whether I just pull out details or decide to do like a certain next area of the puzzle or something like that um, yeah so let's continue on with this
So I've got my border together and most of my Christmas tree except this piece which is probably hiding in the box still. Um, but something that was unexpected and interesting was I found duplicate pieces. So um, you might, I'll just try and pull them out. So I was having a bit of trouble with this border at first because I was like why is this right side longer than this left side? And I realized I had, well one, I found these two pieces that were duplicate and also oh I think the one above it so yeah so basically we have two two duplicates like you know right next to each other um, yeah it seems like the fit is like the same so I don't think it really matters which one goes in so yeah that's uh, interesting so gets get, makes you feel a little bit nervous because um, that could indicate that maybe there's some pieces actually missing from this puzzle. I really hope that's not the case and that we just have some extra pieces. Um, I've sort of experienced both before, so um, yeah. And I have had, yeah, a few, I think Ravensburgers and a few different brands of puzzle, even um, Buffalo and other brands where, yeah, this has been the case where I've just happened to have some bonus pieces. But yes, I have had some as well that had bonus pieces and missing ones. So yeah, so I guess we'll put more of this together and see. Um, but um, yeah, I added in a couple, you know, extra little pieces here and there, just because um, they, I saw them in the box, so I figured why not? Um, so I guess now I'm just gonna like look through the box and see what's distinct. I might, I've seen a lot of the wooden floor, so I might actually even just pull a lot of that out. And also this sort of like, Christmas wrapping paper with like the holly on it which I think belongs in I think the only puzzle I mean the only gift that has it is this sort of one here and this pattern here so I keep seeing these a lot so maybe I'll try and pull those out um, and also looking at it I keep seeing I can see spots so I think these are sort of the only polka dotty ones so I might just try and pull out um, pieces that sort of catch my eye so like these polka dot ones any wooden floor ones um, let's see yeah it's quite a few of these like polka dot ones actually I didn't realize more than I thought uh, yep Oh, and you might have seen me um, while I was sort of assembling. I got a little distracted and decided I wanted to turn all the go. Well, one I was sort of looking for one of the last border pieces, so I decided to go through the whole box and just um, try and find the last of the border pieces, and also just turn all the pieces the right way up. Um, just you know, makes it a bit easier trying to find what you're looking for. So. Definitely is helpful because I can see a lot of uh, these bits that I said I was going to find. So that's good. Quite a few of these little sort of holly and also I guess other festive like wrap. Um, so they'll go over here in a minute. Pull out as many as I can sort of see. Um, what else? Can I see any more? Oh, of course, more wooden floor. Quite a bit of that. 
because that should sort of go around the bottom and side there so there should be at least a bit of that um, you might get broken apart a little bit with like other details but that's okay it's like a good start I think um, that's a bit of oh I won't pull out ones that have a tiny bit but I feel like that's enough bit of wood showing so Oh, there's another one. Some more Christmas paper. Oh, some more polka dots. Oh, and I found a star, which I don't know if that goes up the top here or not. Oh, I think it goes in the middle of the Christmas wreath on above the fireplace. So I'll just sort of leave that aside, I guess. Oh, actually. Here's a bit more, so we'll put that up there. Does it actually go? Oh yeah, it connects. There we go. Great. Uh, oops. Okay, a lot more floor. And some of the floor has like this, the uh, little train set tracks on it too. So that should help figure out where things go because you'll be able to see the direction of it. So okay, there's a lot of floor. Um, yeah, okay, any more polka dots? There's a bit more, I think, what might be Christmas wreath, maybe, I'm just I'm not sure, but maybe, it looks like it might be, so we'll leave that up there. Sometimes, like, um, I just like to pull out details and sort of roughly place them where I think, like, in the rough area that they're going to go, and then as I find more of that section, I can then, like, fit it all together. Um, yeah whereas like these ones i do plan to assemble in a minute so that might be kind of enough to get us started with the next bit so let's see if we can like can we assemble any of these like wrapping paper ah uh, yep okay no no, yes, it's probably still quite a bit in the box, I imagine. There's a bit more. be more I think because I can't figure out where it all goes um, nope nope there we go there's something okay a little Christmas tree I think Go. That goes there, so that's good. Um, and placing some of trying to place some of this um gift paper over here not having much luck I feel like I must be missing a, a lot more pieces I guess oh yeah and some and same with this body one there must be some more hiding in here nope it's a different Christmas tree um, yeah, so I'm going to, I guess, just carry on. No, that doesn't go there. I get too excited and try to place pieces when they don't fit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to carry on like 
just trying to pull out distinctive sections and like little details and um oh there's a bit and um yeah and then i guess work on trying to get this completed so i guess wish me luck and let's hope that there's no missing pieces but i guess i'll soon find out um yeah so i guess we'll see i'll see you when we i've done puzzling So I finished the puzzle and that took probably about two hours so to me that's um, probably a little on the longer side for a 500 piece. Um, I've definitely done ones a lot quicker than that but I think it really just depends on the type of puzzle and uh, the more I went on doing this puzzle the more I realized just how many little cute details there are. So. Yeah, I think like a, such a detailed puzzle like this is always going to take a bit longer to do. Um, but that's totally fine because I just really had a lot of fun doing it. And um, yeah, it was like quite relaxing to do. And really, I really love how it's turned out. It's really cute and very pretty. Um, and much to my relief, these end up being just bonus pieces. Um, and there weren't any missing pieces, thank goodness. So I was, I was a little stressed about that. Um, I'd just like to apologize to the poor person out there who is missing two side pieces. So if that's you, I have them. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, there's so many cute details. Um, so a lot of things I did notice straight away, like, uh, you know, your polar bear reading, um, but, and you know, this nutcracker and angel and things like that. But you know, like, um, there's just such cute things like there's a, you can see, I guess, the back of Santa with his like sack of toys, like dashing away. So I guess he's he's been and delivered all these toys in this sort of magical kind of little fantasy land. Um, but I like that very subtle detail of him like sneaking away. Um, and, you know, little things like this little wooden sheep there near a matryoshka doll. And um, I didn't even realize like, at first that a lot of these presents sort of have little doorways or things going on like it's not just a present like this one's like I guess got like a little window or an oven open that's got like a Christmas pudding and a couple of like wooden animals you know admiring or waiting to eat it and then um, a tiny little doorway down here with like I guess maybe an elf in it I think and then yeah, there's a little spotty dog poking out here and I noticed after a while that this is actually looks like a Rapunzel in her wrapped up tower with her hair flowing down and she's giving, passing on a gift to, I guess, like a Christmas elf um, and like this cute little snow globe. And then even here peeking through the door, I guess, is the young girl that probably lives in this house, you know, who's waiting for Santa to bring all the gifts and has like opened up the door and then discovered this amazing fantasy land. So. Um, yeah, and there's like, even here on this present, there's like some elves pulling um, a sleigh. One of my favorite details though, which is a bit like a little bit weird as well. So the polar bear is like reading to what looks like a couple of cats, but also a tiny snowman. But I'm like, isn't that snowman a little bit precariously close to this toasty fireplace? I'm like, hope, hope the poor little guy doesn't uh, end up as a melted puddle that would be a bit disastrous um, yeah so um, yeah just really enjoyed all the details in this 
it's just really whimsical and really lovely um like definitely such a cute puzzle for I think both kids and adults like as an adult I well sometimes a big kid I just really enjoyed putting this together and I could see myself sort of pulling this out every year for Christmas to do um and you know it's the sort of thing you can just have fun doing it by yourself or like with a friend or family member or something so yeah I think it's just such a great puzzle so definitely recommend this one if you're looking for a nice Christmas puzzle so what did you think of this cute Christmas puzzle is it your style of puzzle or do you prefer something a bit more maybe realistic style and serious or even something on the other end of the spectrum that's a bit more like silly and cartoony I guess let me know in the comments below what your sort of favorite style of Christmas puzzle is and do you even do Christmas puzzles for me this is a kind of new experience I've never done Christmas puzzles before I just didn't really have any so it's yeah it's been fun to like be able to have some for like the sort of holiday season and even sort of some Halloween ones this year as well so yeah that's sort of all a new thing for me so definitely something I'd like to repeat again in coming years I think it's just a fun way to sort of break up the year and celebrate holidays so yeah I guess let me know your thoughts in the comments below and thanks so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all things puzzles and for even more puzzle content you can check me out over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore juby have a safe and very happy holidays and thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.